young people with grants positioning or promise. Then we have been through the idea era, where ideas enhanced and boosted brand values. Come on. Thank you. And now, welcome to the people era. What does it mean? And now we have to put people at the center of our mindset. I'll stand at the center. Ready? Okay. To communicate in the people era, you have to identify a human behavior and find a specific meaningful human purpose for your brand. What's a human brand purpose? Simply a purpose that makes a qualitative difference in people's lives. <laughs> Remember the old way? Brand, positioning, promise, consumer? Forget it. Start from human behavior. Find a human brand purpose. Think about acts that can influence human behavior. Our job is to create ideas so powerful that truly move people and are really relevant to them. Any idea? Huh. Interesting headline. Is that all? In the people era, you don't need ads. You need acts. Let's give some examples. The human behavior is like, I need my daily refuge everywhere I go. And the human brand purpose is Starbucks, existing to provide a place to relax and feel like home everywhere in the world. X. Hey, what are you doing? Let's be serious. I was talking about X. Starbucks is not just a coffee place. It is a place where you can relax and feel at home. Oh. Okay, we better see the next one. Human behavior. My car expresses my inner me. Human brand purpose. Fit 500. Existing to supply cars for people made by people. X. People took part in designing and building the new Fiat 500, tailor made on their specific needs. Whoa. Thanks to remember. Human behavior, not consumers. Human brand purpose, not promise. Acts, not ads. <laughs> Enjoy, human kind of